Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We're wrapping up fall foods today. This is part three with my childhood favorite, Sierra Leone pumpkin stew. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Finda, your empowered guide in business, fitness, and fragrance. And I'm wrapping up Fall Foods. This is part three, and I am out in John and Jones. It's a cute little stand that's been serving the community, I think, really since 1958. Amazing. I'm actually here to show you guys that you don't really have to go to a farm if you don't have time or stop to a grocery store. You can literally support small business in your local area. So I'm going to pick up something really awesome that I'm going to create, something that's a fond memory of my father, what he used to make with me since I was a little girl. So I'm going to pick out an awesome pumpkin and make an amazing African pumpkin stew. So you guys follow me. My family and I first discovered this place when we moved into the neighborhood a few years ago. They have so many amazing local products that are just great for your body. Okay guys, so we're back in the kitchen. The first take at the stand went by so fast because I literally only had like less than six minutes to record. They were so sweet. I was literally just getting out of work and I told them I was gonna go there to film. Time was so incredibly tight, traffic, all that fun stuff. So they were so patient. I said to myself, I don't have time for errors. I had to do like one take in and out so to give you a little bit more information about them they as i said have been serving the Kadao community since 1958 family owned they have so much that i could have shown that day they they have a farm back there At every season they have something amazing that they, you can actually do locally if you don't have time to go to the farm as i said earlier but i was able to get amazing pumpkin that i'm actually going to create it's more of a dish that reminds me of my father a pumpkin stew so everything over here i want to show you guys want to zoom here for me Everything over here is what I'm, that's going to go into this stew. So it's fish. I love salmon. I grew up eating really awesome fish. So I'm going to, you know, kind of like tribute this dish, as I said to my dad. But the thing about, um, you would hear the word stew, you think there's no way this could be healthy. But that's the whole thing about my, I would say my brand. I love teaching you guys exactly how to eat anywhere, not just where, you're, where you are, but around the world. But we're going to make this pumpkin stew a little bit healthier, a little bit better, because the thing about pumpkin is loaded with so much, so much like, you know, things that are really be best for your body from vitamin A, vitamin C, and just a lot of different things. You can just want to check it out for yourself. But I'm going to get into this. I already cut up the pumpkin earlier, but I need a little bit more. So I'm going to chop half of this, actually add that to it. And then we're going to make some magic in the kitchen. Before I even get into the magic, guys, I want to say thank you. My channel is growing. I'm a little over 300 subscribers, so I'm incredibly blessed. I feel so thankful for you guys commenting, liking, and sharing. I feel like every week I put a video out there, I'm getting new subscribers, people that are discovering Empowered by Finnipicua for the first time. And I'm truly am grateful for that. Since this fall, my schedule has been, as I said, a little bit more hectic. So it's a little tight schedule. I'm not putting out videos as I used to every Friday. They would be late at times, but guess what? They're always going to be there though. Just because they're not on time, I'm always going to make sure that my job and mission is a constant keep empowering you guys. So this video is going out to within the week of November because now I'm, I'm kind of stepping into November's territory because I have at the end of this, I'm going to tell you guys a bit about what November's playlist is all going to be about. But right now we're going to wrap this up. This is part three of Fall Foods and it's an amazing Sierra Leone dish pumpkin stew a tribute to my dad so now let's get into this
Okay guys, so all the ingredients are chopped up, ready to go. Got more of my squash here. Fish is ready to go. I'm actually gonna keep the fish in the fridge for now. So I'm ready to use it. And of course, it won't be an African dish if I can't bring the heat. A little bit of habanero. So now we're gonna saute all this yummy stuff together. All this ready. So I like a little bit of kick in the stew. Um, this pepper is really spicy. I actually got this from my younger sister and her husband. They grow their own pepper. Really good, but I'm just gonna put a little bit of it inside the dish. Our son cannot handle 100% spicy food, but he doesn't mind it. So I'm just gonna cut maybe a little bit of it up. That much to add to the dish. Perfect. Okay, awesome. So I'm adding the rice now. I use white rice because our son prefers white rice. I don't want to fight with him. I choose my battle. And I wash it first. I grew up washing, but I learned the reason why it's necessary to wash your rice is because it helps get rid of the starchiness. And you don't want that extra starch in your in your life nobody wants that extra starch so i wash this Perfect. okay so this is the last part salmon's ready to go in so i'm just gonna add this in
simmer for about 20 minutes. Yep. Okay, so everything is just about done. Let's check this out. It looks good and it smells really good. I'm about to dish that. The rice is all done. So check out the finished product. Look at that. It smells really good. As you can see, the steam, it's really hot. So I'm gonna put this on the side here before I even try it. I don't wanna burn my mouth on, you know, on video here. Anyway guys, so I was saying that I'm wrapping up this video a little bit more in November because my schedule has been really, really tight, but I'm really, really grateful that I still take the time out and making sure that I'm still giving you guys these empowered messages that you expect from me every week. So this week we're wrapping up fall foods is the pumpkin stew that was inspired by my dad since I was a little girl. I have an amazing pumpkin story I'm going to share with you guys sometime. Maybe in the near future, I'll share that with you guys, but it's something that really spoke to me since I was six years old to let me know what my purpose was on earth. Even that young, I knew very early. My dad, my father let me know that I was going to do something different, something special. So I'm really, really thankful. As I say, now that we're going into November, November we have, it's a month of Thanksgiving. So I'm literally taking that whole month, this month of November, where I'm actually gonna bring something that I'm very, very grateful for every week. Because I feel like when you're going through when you're going through things and when you're going after something you truly want in life, no one makes it by themselves. So throughout the whole month of November, I'm going to bring to you guys what I'm truly blessed and truly grateful for and why I'm on this platform from people that actually support me in my everyday life, people who are supporting me in my family. So you guys are going to be in for an amazing treat, even to you guys. I am truly am blessed. So the month of November is all about gratitude because gratitude is like this massive gate for opportunity because the more you're grateful for something, the more the doors open. So that's really what November is going to be. But wrapping this up, let me try this dish for you guys. Let me try this dish. Then take a little bit of bite of it. It's really good. I love pumpkin, as I said. Amazing, so great for your body. Amazing, amazing benefits that pumpkin has. And the fish, you just can't go wrong with fish. So I'm really, really thankful for that. Guys, in closing, my uh, nutrition consultation is also booming. I'm getting people like every week that are reaching out to me. I'm beyond, beyond grateful for that. If you want to actually talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, to see exactly what your body type is, exactly how we can actually create something that's tailor-made for you. Click down below for my nutrition consultation. We can actually do that too as well together. And of course, when it comes to other services, I do speaking engagements and it comes with my product. You can also kind of find an empowered one-of-a-kind fragrance down below. Guys, I am so incredibly blessed to be on this journey. Thank you guys always for subscribing. If you have yet to do that, click that button down so we can actually grow and empower each other. I am so incredibly thankful that you guys are constantly tuning in. You guys are constantly giving me the motivation, the encouragement. It's like, man, Finda, you're so different. I'm learning so much from you. It's amazing when people actually tell me, man, I didn't know that about a topic that I actually put out there. So whenever I pick out a topic, I think about you guys in mind, how that's going to impact your life. Because those are all the topics I pick out are things that have impacted my life throughout, even from the past and to current. So I'm really, really thankful for all of those things. I'm really thankful for just the, the, the growth in general. My goal always is to empower people around me, people around the world. So I know that there are different people in um, no matter what walk you are in life, as I always say, it doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter like your education. Literally, you can start from where you are right now today and just tap into what your God-given gift is. Thank you, thank you guys so much for tuning in all of this month. Thank you guys for actually people tuning in for this month coming up about gratitude. I'm so, so thankful for that because everything starts with gratitude. As I always say, guys, don't forget that power moves to keep moving. Keep this game alive, no, 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 no. Yeah.